The athletes heading to Sochi are under tremendous pressure. Of course, a tenth of a second can mean the difference between a trip to the medal stand and going home empty-handed. And their secret to winning, training their brains to overcome stressful situations. So how can you do that in your own life? Well, we asked that question recently of Outside Magazine here with some of the answers. Our Sarah Isakovich, a former Olympic swimmer turned research assistant in psychi psychiatry at UC San Diego, and psychiatrist Janet Taylor. You might end up, you know, working together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 Sarah, you actually experienced this in, in Beijing. You were an Olympic swimmer, and things didn't go well. What happened? So what happened was going into that last turn in my final race of 200 freestyle, uh, my feet barely touched the wall. So I lost all that momentum and speed carrying into that last lap which is a swimmer's biggest fear. You don't want that to happen, especially in an Olympic race. But you could have, you could have like, collapsed, yeah. and, but you ended up taking silver. True. So I kept going, and um, I didn't let it get to me. I think as an athlete, I've had that privilege of um, being exposed to challenges and, you know, really um, getting after it no matter what. Um, so all of that um, helped me deal in that, you know, with that situation. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, I carried on. You talk, Sarah, a lot about brain training techniques. You say Marines and adventurers anticipate and react to stress better than the rest of us. What is it about them that makes them better at it? True. So a research at um, UCSD conducted by Dr. Paulus and Lori Hayes have really shown that very resilient people, such as the Navy SEALs, Marines, and elite athletes, have that ability to really stay calm under stress. And we see that on the brain level. Um, they their brain activation is much lower, specifically in those areas that regulate emotions and that body awareness, meaning that they're staying calm under the stressors. Whereas low resilient people, their brain activity is super high and you know, that um, hyperactivity can lead to um, panic. Well, Janet, obviously we could all benefit if we learn to do this. Are we all capable of brain training? Absolutely, because if you think about it, our brains are the same, but it's just how we have learned to train them. So if you think we build our, our bodies, we can also build our brains. And the message for people at home is we know life is stressful, yeah. but if you do the stop technique where you focus on being mindful and focus on the sensation. So if you notice you're anxious, which whatever sensation you have in, the, in your stomach, in your hands, you can practice and train yourself to say okay I got this or okay I'm gonna panic mm -hmm. and what optimal and Olympic athletes do is they don't panic they know I'm ready and they are focused and stay on the prize and normal people people at home can do this yeah. so how do you prepare yourself though for the unexpected basically well you you anticipate but don't mm. overreact let's say you're a mom and you're worried about your kid falling doing things like that you prepare yourself yeah. you know you strap them in their in their car seat or you know if they're in a high chair you have your phone charged to call 911 you train yourself in CPR. So if the unexpected happens, you can go into automatic mode instead of just waiting and panicking. So Sarah, what would you say to somebody watching right now? They're about to go out and make a big presentation at work. They've got some anxiety about it. Right. What can the everyday person do right now? I think better? that positive mindset and self-belief that you got it really helps. Like as an athlete going into every practice, every uh, meet that I'm swimming, I have to know that I've put in the effort, I'm prepared, I got it, um, and that positive self-talk. Like, hey, yeah. I can do this. And, and you embrace yeah. the anxiety. Sometimes what feels like nervousness and anxiousness is in fact excitement. Yeah. If you yeah. know you're ready for the presentation, mm -hmm. Take some deep breaths, be mindful about it, and then just go out and do it. And it takes practice. Mm -hmm. I love the notion of the hyping yourself up. We see athletes, boxers, sure. even yeah. when they enter the ring with a hype song. The swimmers yeah. always have their earphones on. It, it is psyching yourself out in a sense. It, it is. It's yeah. using your brain the way it should be. Right. And in fact, not running away from fear, but embracing exactly. it. Wow. Exactly. All right. That's our, our new motto. I got this. Uh, you got it. Right. <laughs> Sarah Isakovich, thank you so much. Dr. Janet Taylor, thank you, thank you both. Thank and, you, Lynn.